There's no denying the health benefits of breast milk, but could it prevent COVID? Well, joining us to weigh in is pediatrician and author of the Pediatrician's Guide to Feeding Babies and Toddlers, Dr. Anthony Porto. Also here are twins, Janelle and Giselle, who breastfeed their kids to give them COVID antibodies. So starting with you, Janelle, we hear your sister donated her milk to your toddler. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, about a year ago, my sister was breastfeeding and I have a toddler and as we all know, toddlers have really, don't really have much protection from COVID at this point. Um, and so she donated some of her breast milk to me, which had um, COVID antibodies that I was able to put in my four-year-old cereal and her, her milk or her juice or whatever she was having um, to help give her some some sort of protection um, against COVID at, at this time where we're still, you know, waiting um, for any sort of immunity for toddlers. Gotcha. So let me ask you, how long do the, do the two of you plan to breastfeed your kids to try and give them COVID antibodies? So my daughter is 11 months old now, and we, you know, breastfeeding and any type of feeding of an infant is definitely a journey. I'm hoping to go at least until she's one years old, hopefully a little bit longer. Um, oh. I just had a baby in December, so my baby is a month old. Um, I'm hoping to be able to breastfeed her as long as I breastfed my toddler, which is about 15 to 16 months. Breast milk does provide a level of immunity to children at least the first six months that's really important all right well dr porto the twins clearly are thinking a little bit outside of the box and clearly their motivation they want to do the best possible thing for their kids so comment on what our lovely twins just shared first of all kudos to you guys for breastfeeding Thank and you. getting you're doing it for so long i think it's it's amazing and i know everyone's feeding journey is so unique and what's great about this current data it's really interesting because it points to a route of protection against covid through breastfeeding so if parents are using their own breast milk or sharing it with known sources like milk banks it can be a safe practice especially in those where there's no vaccine available at this time 